let's just look when he removes the other hook and goes to the other side. So again, I think making that first grip, because it's a hard grip to get depending on the, the cut of the gear and if they've got a stiff collar. So right hand, thumb inside over his left shoulder. Left hand makes the grip again, car drives back into me. Only this time, instead of going probably the side I favor, he goes the other side. So when he removes this hook, okay, I'm hip escaping and he's trying to put his back in the match. So I'm hip escaping on my right side. And again, I'm bringing this arm over his head and I already have made that connection. The car's not gonna lie there. He's gonna turn into me. He's turning on his left side to try and get on top. As he does, I just go belly down. So from there, just connecting the elbow. So I think the theme through this whole looking at this baseball bat show, it's just the contact that you make. You know, I want that snugness with my forearms cutting off his jugular. So if you're struggling when you're drilling this, just before you put the choke, um, we don't actually put it on until um, everything's in place. So we, we've, we've looked at um, hitting this when the guy's bridging into me. But sometimes you can't even make grips. See the way Carl's already making these, um, defending with his hands there. So I think this grip's quite good as that because you know, he's expecting you to come in and try to work this. So this time, even if he is making those grips, I make my first one at the back of the collar. Because most people will not go that far with their hands. So I make my grip. And from here, I'll just stay here. When he dri drives into me and removes this right hook, can I stay there, bro? He, he's putting his back on the mat, I'm on my right side, but I don't, I don't have the space to get this over yet because I'm too close to Carl. So I'm shrimping out, and as I do, I'm looping this over. Carl's already turning into me, and when he does, I've already got my baseball bat grips. Okay. Make sure I have the connection with my forearms against his jugulars. I'm on my right side, and as he tries to come on top and the side control, I'm just going back. And like we said, if you're snug, you don't even need to go belly down. So let's do that again. So, right hand, thumb in, left hand, he bridges into me, removes that hook. So I want to shrimp to create a little space this time. Last time I was bringing my left arm over, this time, I'm, I'm, when Carl tries to turn in, it's the arm with the, the four fingers inside, that's the one that's going to come over his head. Okay. And then from there, as he tries to get on top, I connect my elbows. I'm on my right side. I'm just going to the guy. So we'll just run over the other one as well. So we kind of want to drill this. If you want and you have the first one, just take a turn about. So I'm here and here. Carl turns into me. He removes the first hook, the left hook. So as he does, I make sure he can't turn in there. And I'm coming under. And then he just put my back in the mat. Second one. Same thing, make the grip, he bridges into me when he removes that hook. So I kind of want to shrimp a little bit, okay? So again, just go back again, bro. Sit back again. Making sure that I leave a little bit of space. I think we were hitting this earlier. If my hands are connected, it's very hard to get that arm over. So I want to make sure there's at least the, the, the width of his neck between my grips. So when he leans into me and puts, removes my hook, so he needs the space to get that over. Then I can readjust. Charles not going to lie there. He's going to turn to try and get on top. And when he does, I make that connection. So let's play with that, guys. 